What happens to a person when the person gives the life entirely to Christ? The life of Christ begins to be expressed in that person. Galatians 2.20, Paul says, I am crucified with Christ, meaning he has died to his past life as Christ died, and he has risen with Christ, Romans 6, 4 to 6. He, is, he died with Christ, he rose with Christ. If we are planted in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, Romans 6, verse 5. So the person who's given the life to Christ has died with Christ and rises with Christ to walk in newness of life. First John 2, 6, we should walk even as he walked. And so the person who is given the life to Christ will begin to live the life of Christ if that surrender is truly complete and it is renewed daily. It must be renewed daily. So a surrendered life becomes <clears throat> the vehicle through which Christ expresses his life through that person. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. That's the experience of a person who has truly given the life to Christ and does that daily. The person loves the things of Christ. Spiritual things becomes his or her priority. And the person can say like Job, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. The person can say like Jesus himself, I have need to eat, you know not of. The person can say like Jeremiah, thy words were found and I did eat them. The person can say like David, oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. That's the change that comes over that person. Spiritual things become the person's priority. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.